hear this alarm okay buzzing sound and if hello everyone welcome to hunt electronics and uh, this is your friend sakib and in today's technical session we are going to see the basic of photo transistor and a difference between a dgt and photo transistor so my dear friends you can see this is a photo transistor over here okay so its name comes to photo because it's get activated when the light falls on it and this is your normal transistor that is called as an a dgt so what is the difference between this both so to turn on the B, uh, bgt that is a bc547 i have taken here an example you have to give uh, some base voltage that is 0.7 to 0.8 volt to turn on the transistor but to turn on the photo transistor we have to apply some light on the base so here the base is whole body that is the base when the light falls on the transistor that will be act like a base then there will be the flow of charge from collector to emitter so let us see how we can cross verify this into uh, with the help of a multimeter so my dear friend i've got a multimeter over here okay put to the diode section over here so this is a bc547 so this is a collector then base and emitter collector i am giving a plus vcc okay uh, emitter i am connecting to the ground so you can see the uh, transistor is not on turned on to turn on this transistor what we need is uh, we have to give some voltage to the base so i will be connecting one wire over here now i will be giving some voltage to the base so here so now you can see this transistor is turned on so this is how we can verify whether the transistor is working or not turn on the bc547 we required a uh, plus vcc to the base okay we, when it is uh, npn and when it is pnp we required a zero uh, zero logic to the base okay now let us see uh, the photo transistor so instead of this now i will be taking the photo transistor basically the photo transistor has got a three terminal but one terminal is nc that is a non connected inside it is just for a mechanical fitment over here so you can see here the middle terminal here this is a collector and this is the emitter so my dear friend this is a collector over here so i will be connecting this collector to the plus vcc that is plus probe of it okay emitter to the ground so you can see it is not turned on so to for turn on there should be a light falling on this okay so here we have got an arrangement so here we have got a laser light over here okay we'll turn on the laser light so you can see here this is a laser light now we'll put a laser light on the transistor so you can see so when the light falls on the transistor at a certain level the transistor turns on so this is the main difference between the bjt and photo transistor so when the light falls on it the transistor gets turn on so my dear friend uh, the most important question what comes into the mind what are the applications of the photo transistor so there are many applications of the photo transistor like in, in used in the security system you uh, used as an encoder and uh, speed uh, direction measurement used as an uh, ir detector okay uh, in electric control in the computer logic circuit to turn on and off relay lightning controlling in the highway uh, then uh, small applications like in a bugler alarm uh, object counting etc etc there are the many applications like this uh, so let us uh, see the small application over here this is a thief alarm or a bugler uh, bugler alarm in other word over here so in this uh, we have got in one side the laser other side we have got the photo transistor over here okay uh, so this is a collector and this is a emitter of the transistor base will be acting on the light so what will happen over here when the laser light is falling on the photo transistor it is on so the maximum flow of the current is from the collector to emitter and so the output over here it will be zero logic okay so when the thief try to enters the gate or through the window or through the door okay this light will get interrupted once this get interrupted this transistor will turn off so whatever the flow of charge from collector emitter it will go to the output side and the output will be the logic one and the alarm will start buzzing over here so this there is a buzzer over here it will start buzzing over here so this is how let us uh, see how we can implement over here so my dear friends uh, you can see here i've got one breadboard okay 
so here in this uh, I've got one photo transistor so one side it is emitter so here we have got the collector here the emitter is grounded okay now I've taken the 10 1 kilo ohm of resistor with respect to the VCC then for the output I've taken one resistor which I'm going to take the output from the collector side okay I've got one buzzer so I'm connecting the buzzer at the output with respect to ground so this is ground okay then I've got one laser light so you can see here got a laser light it should be focused on the okay so uh, the another is here I've got 3.7 volt battery let us connect the battery properly so this is plus VCC I will be connecting plus VCC to the plus VCC and this is ground to ground okay so we have turn on let us focus the okay so I have uh, focused the light over there. You can see this. Now, if this light gets stuck, so the light is falling on the transistor. Transistor is turned on. The maximum current is flowing from collector to emitter. Now, if this light gets stuck, if suppose the thief try to cross this, now you can see, you can hear this alarm. Okay. So if I allow, the alarm is off again. So if again if I try over here you can see you can hear this alarm okay buzzing sound and if, so this is a small application which you can create at your home so there are n number of application uh, for the porto transistors over here which you can uh, just implement at your home so just like a DIY okay so see this is a small application so for more technical video my dear friends please uh, uh, like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you